Hi, my name is Olivia Wells, and today I will be presenting my final project for WC403. Um, I decided to tackle um, how to relieve stress among college students in today's society. So why tackle student stress? Um, stress affects a large number of students. Almost every high school or college student um, feels some sort of stress throughout their education. Um, stress actually affected me a lot in high school. Um, I actually developed a stomach ulcer, um, which caused you know, a lot of pain, a lot of added stress to my education. Um, I was just so worried about you know, being the best in the class, getting the best grades, and doing really well in order to get into a great college. I feel like from a younger age, you're pressured a lot into being successful. Um, and getting into a good school, which is very important. However, when it comes to affecting your own physical and mental health, um, you shouldn't be suffering in that aspect. So there's a lot of pressure um, on that. And I've also seen my friends and peers struggle with the same issues, um, whether it's saying, you know, man, I just failed a test, um, I'm really bummed out about it, or whether it's, you know, trying to study for a test and um, you just are super stressed about it. So friends and peers and all kinds of students um, are affected by the stress. So as I mentioned earlier, um, one of the big problems that um, stress stems from is that students feel too pressured. Um, whether that comes from your home life, whether that comes from teachers, professors, or from yourself. Um, with me in high school, it was myself. I wanted to be the best that I could be. I wanted to be the best student. I wanted to get really awesome grades and have an awesome GPA. And so I pushed myself to the limit, um, to the physical limit, and wanted to do the absolute best that I could. And so even if that meant, you know, affecting my physical health, that's what I, that's what I wanted to achieve. And um, once I kind of realized where that pressure was coming from, that it was me doing it to myself, I realized that you know this was a bigger problem that I that um, wasn't just me; it was affecting. Um, stress can come from your, like you said, your grades. It can also come from your job or from your social life. Um, of course, it's good to have a social life, even though know, you have to have a job. But you don't want those things affecting um, your grades or your personal life to the point where um, something is suffering. Um, stress affects, like I said, both your mental and physical health. Um, for me, it was more my physical health in high school. Um, like I said, I got a stomach ulcer from just the amount of stress that I was putting on myself. Um, I literally worried myself sick, and so once I kind of realized that that was a breaking point for me, I knew I had to turn something around and change some things in my life. Um, throughout my college career, um, it's been more mental health for me rather than physical health. Um, this past semester was a really hard one for me, and so there were a lot of times where I would just stop and think, and I had to tell myself, okay, you know, grades aren't what define you, you know, your GPA does not define you. Um, while it does factor into whether you, you know, you'll get into grad school, maybe get your dream job, it's not the end of the world if you don't, you know, reach your goal for that. Um, you can always set smaller goals to reach, and um, so once I kind of worked through that as well, um, I kind of had to teach myself how to um, correct my mental health um, for how stress affects it. So different signs of stress um, include crying, refusing to go to class, um, suffering grades, and lack of sleep. Um, something I found was interesting is that um, some people can also oversleep um, when they're stressed out, you know, just to kind of put their mind off of what they have to do. They'll go and they'll take a nap or um, worry about, you know, something else. And so um, there are a lot of different signs of stress and it's different for everyone. Not everyone handles stress the same way. Um, some people, um, instead of crying, you know, they'll pretend to be happy all the time. Or um, instead of losing sleep, they'll sleep more. Instead of, you know, under eating, they'll overeat. So it affects everyone differently, but these are just the most common signs of um, stress in students. So the solution that I came up with to help battle stress here on campus at St. Mary of the Woods was to host more stress relieving events on campus. Um, right now the Counseling Center does a really great job with hosting what we call a de-stress fest, um, which occurs once a semester and basically with that time 
is a few hours during the day where students can make crafts, they can play games, and just take some time out of their day to focus on themselves and their mental health instead of the assignments and papers that they have to do. Um, that is hosted through the Counseling Center. Callista Lawrence is our um, campus counselor, and she does a great job with hosting those different activities for students to know that they have resources available, you know, if they need to talk to someone, she's there. Um, and it also just helps students get their mind off of um, their grades and their um, stress for a little bit. Um, however, since we do only do those once or twice a semester, I would like for that to be more common. Um, so for this project, I would like to do that um, at least once a month, do some sort of activity, and um, whether that be on campus or off campus, um, it would just be an opportunity for students to let off some steam, to put their mind off of their grades for a little while, and just hang out with friends in a social environment. I would also like to part with, partner with the Career Development Center on campus. Um, they already host some different workshops in classrooms um, that have to do with your resumes, interview skills, and professional development, but I think that if we picked some different topics that maybe weren't so heavy or weren't so time consuming, um, that the students can still benefit from, that they would be more inclined to learn from those and to come to those events. So I would like to do something along the lines of uh, maybe a LinkedIn workshop to talk about how important LinkedIn is, or to um, go through what it's like searching for a job, you know, how you find that job, what resources you have to um, make connections with people in those fields. Um, currently, I'm looking for jobs for after graduation, and I use Indeed a lot, indeed.com, which is a job searching website. Um, it's incredible, and I wish I had known about it earlier, and so I feel like that's something that students would benefit from as well, and it would help them feel more prepared for their future rather than worrying about it themselves and feeling like they have to do it all by themselves. The third component of my solution would be, um, it's called Yakstack. It is a group messaging software. Um, it allows you to send out mass communication messages through text to your cell phone um, or email if you don't use a cell phone. Um, I would like to use this because students don't always have someone behind them supporting them um, in big ways. Um, you never know how far just like an encouraging message is going to go. So if you tell someone, you know, hey, you're doing a good job. Like, I can see that you're working really hard. Just keep it up. You're doing great. You don't know how, you know, how far that message can go for somebody. Um, someone may not have a parent at home saying, you know, checking in and saying, you know, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? Um, you know, you can do it. You're almost there. And so this messaging software would help us reach those students and give them a word of encouragement every now and then. It would also be used to send out event reminders, so if you were doing an event with the Counseling Center or with the Career Development Center, that software would be used to remind people of those events as well. Um, now the college already has a group messaging software that they send out through text, but however, it's for um, safety and health concerns primarily. So um, if there were a tornado warning to be posted or um, if the roads were icy, that's what that service is for, so we wouldn't want to intrude on that. So we would use our own messaging software called the Axtag. Um, it also gives it more of like a social, youthful vibe so that um, students feel like that those words of encouragement are for them and not just for the whole, you know, student body. Um, and so, like I said, um, we would be hosting stress relieving events, um, hopefully once a month, and then some smaller events popped up, um, you know, every other week or so. Um, with um, implementing the idea, I would need to um, address someone of leadership, which would be Amy or Sam in Campus Life, as well as Calista in the Counseling Center to really help get this project um, off the ground. I would need to ask for permission to advertise the events on campus. Um, we would be creating flyers and hanging them around campus, as well as sending them through emails, and we need permission from um, Amy to do that, and so I would ask for that for permission. Um, I would also ask about presenting um, to the Woods Core classes. Um, when you come in as a first year student, you don't always, you're not always aware of the resources that you have, and so um, informing them in their first year of college that these resources are available to them um, would be really helpful. Um, I feel like if that's something that I experienced my first year of college, I would have been much better off um, for 
you know, relieving stress and worrying about my mental health, I would have been more prepared and more educated on how to do that, um, had that been offered to me. So I would like to do that the same for the first year students coming in. Um, this project um, theoretically would take place over a three month period. I created that period because um, it's almost a whole semester, but it does give about a month to analyze the effects of the project and see how, um, how well it went and to see if there were any problems or issues that we would need to change. Um, for this project, um, we would need a budget, of course, since we're doing events and we need you know, supplies, event spaces, we need some sort of budget. So this budget is based on the three month period. Um, the majority of our income would be student participation fees. Um, it is based on there being a $5 fee per student for roughly 25 students involved. Um, obviously, if there are more students attending, we are gonna get more income from that, which is great. However, if there are less students attending, our income will be less, which is something that we would just have to work around depending on how many students attend our events. Other income would come from business donations or sponsors. Um, mental health and physical health for students is something that has a soft spot in everyone's heart because they've all been through it. And so going around to different area businesses to ask for monetary donations or even snack donations um, would be something that would really help this project get off the ground. Um, I would do additional fundraising if needed, um, whether that meant um, doing some sort of um, selling fundraiser or um, different things like that to get more income if we need it. If not, that's great, um, but it's there just in case. Uh, the expenses for the project, as I mentioned, um, were snacks. So if that's something that we can get donated to us from a business, that would eliminate you know, that expense of that, which would be incredible. As well as project materials, if we are doing canvas painting or we are um, throwing water balloons, anything like that that needs supplies, um, I have budgeted for that as well. As well as printing and copying, uh, I mentioned earlier we would need to do some advertising. And so if we wanted to do some better advertisements through the Sharp Printing Office uh, on more quality paper or if we wanted to be laminated, we do have that uh, put back as well. So, uh, as I said, this budget is applicable for a three-month period, um, which would allow the last month or two of the semester for analyzing the effects of the project. Other resources that we might need on that um, are included in the budget would be on-campus event spaces, tables, chairs, um, different materials like that that the college already has. Those are things that we don't need to rent, um, we just need to reserve. So that would help us cut a lot of different costs for that. Um, if we were to go do an off-campus event like bowling or laser tag, things like that, there might be a, um, a higher fee for the students depending on the activity. But if we can, we would like to use the budget to cover that for as many of them as possible. So the evaluation of the program would include surveys to the students. Um, I would like to do a printed survey um, on site for them. So you know, as soon as the event's over, before they leave, if they could just fill out a quick survey, um, that would be the best way to gain results for us. If we were to send it out in an email, we wouldn't get as many um, responses because most students either don't check their email in a timely manner, or they see it, delete it, and pretend it never happened. Uh, I would also like to look at results in the classroom as well as for grades. Um, I know that for privacy reasons we can't connect to names with grades. However, I would like to see whether or not there is an increase or decrease in student involvement and grades, GPAs in class. Um, that, those results would come from the teacher, the professor. Um, like I said, we wouldn't need names or personal information, just whether or not there was an increase or decrease and how much that increase or decrease was. I would, after collecting all of that data, I would create a comprehensive report to analyze the effects of the project to see whether or not this was something worth continuing or to see what changes need to be made in order for it to be more successful in the future. And these are my citations. <laughs>